how's it going? Um, look at this puppy that I just got for 50 bucks. I just went on um, Marketplace. I just unloaded it, put it here in the garage. Um, I haven't even seen it fired up. And what we're looking at here today is the uh, Atari cocktail cabinet. When I did a little bit of research, I found out that they actually made two styles. One, like a rare style. And then this one, this is the more common one with a 13 inch monitor that will go right there. And you're getting, like I said, a look at it for one of the first times. I'm not sure, it's not the centipede. I'm not sure what um, that is burned into the monitor. Inside of this thing for the first time. What I'm seeing, the guy did say that his boys would be sad. You just don't know what you're going to find. <laughs> um, so apparently Robin has been living inside of this Atari cabinet. So let me go ahead and plug this thing in now. Well, let's see. Oh, I guess it's not on because this is up. Go ahead and turn this down. Let's see. Oh, we got power. We got the screen on. Let me hit start and see what happens here. Well, there's the ball. But it seems to be working. Not sure what's up with the screen or looking like that, but. Okay. So that turns it off. Okay, we'll look back inside of it. How arcade games worked back in the day compared to nowadays. With the way technology is. An entire board for one centipede game, but I'm going to have fun trying. You literally need to drill through and remove the rivets. Okay, so you can see I literally just started falling off once I took that last one off. And I'll show you what the final product is. Look at this. Ooh, look how smooth that is. There was no way around it. I had to take everything off. That's really the only way you can make it look nice. Rivets are gone. I got my fat glossy black screws in there. Okay, well here's a first look at the completed millipede machine. And I'm gonna open it up so you can see what it looks like inside. This used to be a centipede cocktail table, but I pretty much removed everything and custom made it to be a multi-cocktail table. 
and that's what I'm using to power it. Just a little uh, Nuke mini computer. Remove the original monitor and just put in an LCD and just use these brackets to hold it in place. And my power source there. You can see I just kind of use the power strip. I needed a button to kind of go back to the main menu and so I installed a button that's Kind of a hidden button right there. And I wanted to have it so that it had three buttons to play games like Missile Command. Didn't have the glass and didn't have the original bevel, so I had to create one. And I just took some paper, black paper, and cut it around the best I could. I'm not sure what was once here. I think this was just a vent because the speaker was only on the other side. It didn't have two speakers. And there, there's the original Atari plate. Kind of cool. Would have loved to have had the original monitor to go back in, but I am just not that skilled or brave to handle the wattage of those old monitors. And the LCD is just so easy to deal with. It's just so light. Kind of goes in like that. And was able to get the bevel to match it up to make it look nice. So this is what I use for the main menu. This is a, a program called Big Box that um, can categorize however I want to select it. On the side, I have all the arcade games. I was gonna put a spinner dial, but I didn't. And then these are the arcade, my arcade favorites. So I click on this, and then these are the games that I have set up in here that are my favorites. So for instance, if I wanted to play Missile Command, click on that, and then I hit play. And then when I want to get out of the game, I have my, I hit the secret button, it takes me back out of the game into the main menu. And then from here, I can go and I can select my other games. And eventually, if I wanted to just close it down, I hit my back button, it takes me back to the actual desktop. And then from there, I can shut it down. One of the most difficult things with making this a millipede from the centipede was this control panel. Um, I didn't care for the one and a half inch trackball. I wanted to get the two inch millipede trackball. 
I didn't realize at the time that I need to change the entire control um, panel um, and it I had to have a custom made and it took a little while but I was able to have someone um, make this control panel and then I couldn't find the uh, the control or the uh, artwork for the control panel so uh, thankfully um, Dave Stobbs was able to help me make the artwork for the table that wasn't as difficult um, to find out but my daughter had to actually hand draw all the mosquitoes and then custom yeah draw all of this um, and uh, I think she did a fantastic job and looks really really good and um, if you look really really close you can see it's just kind of coming just a little bit beyond um, the actual uh, woodwork but um, I was really happy with the way it turned out. Well that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, it was fun making this cocktail table and um, it'll be fun making the next one. Pac-Man!